Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP. My name's Graham Parker, and on this channel, you can follow me and my escapades through the weird and wonderful world of hoof care for cows. In this video, we return to a farm where my brother in law Mark works to trim a cow that had a seriously painful back right foot and to see exactly how she's getting on today. But before we go any further, think about smashing that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up by hitting the like button and get ready for some terrible singing. What's happening, hoofers? My life is pretty awesome right now and YouTube has been a massive part of that. So thanks to you guys for watching. I really, really mean it. Let me know in the comments how your life's going right now. I really, really hope that it's doing okay for you because you guys have been so good to me, so I kind of deserve it. But if you haven't hit it, smack that subscribe button right now. So we're here at Mark's Farm again. We actually came here on a Saturday in this video here and we checked out this cow. Mark trimmed it. We kind of re-trimmed it, redressed it and put a couple of blocks on. So we're here to see how she's doing. But actually, I revisited her about three weeks ago, but we lost all the camera footage. So I'm really keen to see how she's doing right now. And for those of you who don't remember what she was looking like, here's a little clip of exactly how she was when we first saw her. So Mark doesn't actually have a hoof trimming crush of his own, so he rigged up this little rope system to get her foot right up off the air so that I could treat her rather than bring in my crush all the way here just for one cow. If you look closely at this, you can see the big ulcer that is actually partly a fistula. And a fistula is basically an exit hole from where there has once been an abscess. So actually, when Mark first lifted this cow's foot, pus was actually spewing out of that raised red part you can see on her heel. And when I revisited her, again, it was completely full of pus. So after a fairly extreme therapeutic trim, where we took away all of the necrotic and loose horn, she was left with a gaping hole. Since then, Mark has had her on a course of anti-inflammatories and antibiotics. So let's see how she's doing today. Let's see exactly how she's doing. You never get a song stuck in your head. I can't get that. We'll stay together every day and at no. I want to look good. Okay, so it's looking slightly better, but definitely not completely healed. The first time we saw her, this was all bulbous and sticking out. The last time I saw her, but you guys, yep, you sitting there with the coffee in your hand right there. The last time I saw her, all of this had burst open, there was a big hole here and pus had actually started to come out of it. So we removed all of the dead and necrotic tissue from here. There was a big gaping hole here, but that's starting to fill in. Now we need to put a block on here to make sure that this continues to get better. So when it comes to trimming a cow's foot that looks like this, it's really obvious that that outside affected claw is carrying most of the weight, which is less than ideal. So my first job is to flatten off the inside claw and prepare it ready for a block so that it can be glued on strongly and take all of the weight away from that sore outer claw. Once that's been done, we lower the affected claw as much as we can through trimming with the grinder and then remove all of the tiny little shreds of loose horn and clean it up all around the lesion to make sure that it gets the best chance possible of a full recovery. To be honest, this foot couldn't really be healing much better. I'm really, really chuffed with it. It's just a shame that I don't have the actual footage from when all of the pus and all of that necrotic tissue was taken away because it really was pretty extreme.
once the iodine's been put on, it's really important to let it kind of soak in and then actually reapply it in cases like this. Because the more you can get on that actual lesion, the better. In this case, I am only going to trim that back right foot because I know the rest are perfect. To be totally honest, I probably won't see this cow again because that heel is healing so well that I know it's going to continue to do that, especially with the aid of a new block being on there. So there's really no point to pull her out of the hair just to put her through all of the stress and um, turmoil of going through my crush. So we might see her again in six months time when she needs re-trimmed for a routine trim, but other than that, she should be completely healed. Although she's not completely healed right now, but she will be in about a month's time. Ta-da! If you've made it this far, thank you for your time, patience, eyes and ears, and until next time, leave me a comment down below to tell me how your world is, and give this video a big thumbs up. Cheers guys, bye!